In this next example, we want to be able to find the least common multiple of 60 and 24. Finding the least common multiple is the same thing as finding the least common denominator. And so what we want to be able to do is find the least common multiple of 24 and 60. Now, if 24 was a factor of 60, we would then say 60 is the least common multiple. But 24 is not a factor of 60. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to take both of these numbers and then find the prime factorization of both of those numbers. So for 24, we're going to create two branches. What are two factors of 24? We can say 2 and 12. We know that 2 is prime. Now we're going to break down 12 into two factors. We know that's 2 and then 6. There's 2 and then there's 6. So 2 is prime. 6 is composite, so we're going to add another two branches. We're going to get 2 and 3, and now that they are all prime numbers, we're going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, now we're going to take 60. So what two numbers can you multiply to get 60? Well, we can say 6 and then 10. Well, 6 is his composite, so we can break that down to be 2 and 3. And we know that 2 and 3 are prime numbers. And we can break down 10 to be 2 and 5, and those are also prime numbers. Now, in order for us to find out what the least common multiple is, let's write out what the prime factorization of 60 is. Okay, so now we're going to put this. So this is our first step. Now, our second step is the following. We're going to write out the full prime factorization for 24. And we know that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Now, the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Okay? So what do we know about the 2 here? We know that they have 2's in common, so we know we're going to have one of the 2's in the least common multiple. Again, another 2 here that they have in common, we're going to include that. They also need to include this 2. They have a 3 in common that we need to include. And then we also have to include the 5. So if we take 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, okay, that's going to give us the value of 120. And so therefore, that would be the least common multiple. So the answer is 120, and there is our result.